my favorite thing that's come out of DC on television ever, and I say this as somebody who loved Smallville, I really liked the Arrowverse, some things more than others. Uh, obviously, I loved Arrow for the first couple of seasons. I liked the first handful, bunch of seasons of Flash. Uh, Black Lightning was amazing. There, there's a lot of stuff they did that I really liked. But with all due respect to all those things that I enjoyed, I think the best thing DC's ever did on television was Peacemaker. Peacemaker is something that I had to eat a lot of crow on because right from the get-go, I said, this show was a bad idea. And then they played the first trailer and I say, it looked like it was shot on an iPhone. This doesn't look good at all. And then the show came out. And this is why when a movie or a show comes out, you take the baggage you've accumulated for it and put it aside and just take it at its own value. And I fell in love with this show. I absolutely adored it. Every week I just looked forward to hear if you really want it, if you really want it. Like, that's all I wanted to. My week was about counting down to the next time I got to hear that opening song. I thought John Cena, who I have been critical of, that he's great in supporting roles, but I don't think he can be a lead in anything. He carried that show, and he was great in it, and I loved Eating Crow on that because I love that show. But it's been two years, two years since that show ended. Where is season two? Well, we knew it was coming, but they've actually started shooting it. This comes to us from Variety, showing a post that James Gunn himself, there he is in the picture, taking a photo of the back of John Cena's head, <laughs> wearing the mask, and he says in it, day one, season two, with the merman emoji. Now, a lot of people thought that was Aquaman's going to be in this. Now, if you remember Vigilante in the season one, he pointed out that the mermaid and the merman were his favorite emoji. It's not too happy. It's not too sad. It's just right. You know, something like that. So he decided to put that in there too. I'll tell you what, I am so stoked about this. Now, apparently it's going to come out after Superman. So Superman that comes out in the summer of next year, this is going to come out. James Gunn has already confirmed on threads when people ask him that the events of Peacemaker are going to reflect the events of what happens in the Superman movie. So that's good. So Superman is filming right now. Peacemaker season two is filming right now. I couldn't be happier. Anyway, Rob, you heard about this. What do you think? What's not to love? You know, like you, John, I was dubious, I guess, mm -hmm. over a Peacemaker show. But like you, I mean, <laughs> when that dance move started or dance opening dance number in the opening credits, who doesn't love that? And the show, I mean, I, I, again, it had that really irreverent humor, over-the-top violence, crazy sex. I mean, what's not to love about this show? It was, it lived up to everything that I didn't know it was going to live up to. Because <laughs> like you, I'm like, eh, is this going to work? But, you know, I mean, when James Gunn brings that gunny vision to something and it, it's allowed to be sort of unfettered, you get something like this. And um, don't bet against James Gunn. Now, I saw a few people in the live chat asking, uh, understandably so, asking, well, wait, if, he's, if he's shooting Superman right now, how can he be shooting Peacemaker? James Gunn wrote this season of Peacemaker, but he is not directing this season of Peacemaker, right? He's busy directing Superman. So he already had the script for Peacemaker done. So he's got other directors that are directing Peacemaker. So that's how they can have both of them going. He had a few other time. directors. He directed a lot of season one, but he had other directors. Yeah, he didn't direct one. all of it. Right. Season one, right? He wrote it, but he didn't direct all of it. So I'll tell you what I can't. And you know, he said something interesting the other day before CinemaCon. He mentioned that season one isn't canon. Right. Which which is interesting because they're bringing back the cast and everything from season one. But he says season one is not canon. So it's going to be interesting to see what they keep from season one, what they don't keep from season one. I mean, where did they leave 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 it off as? Like, Well, they defeated the aliens. Right. Um, uh, Amanda Waller's daughter revealed the... the um, the whole Just, Suicide Squad right. division that Amanda Dunn made it public. So there's going to be fallout from that. There's still apparently an Amanda Waller show coming. Uh, so that's where they kind of left it off. So so if he's saying that the season one's not canon, they might not go off of that then. They right? might not. The, yeah, it all could have be been selective. It all could have been a, a virtual reality thing, that, a test. Or nothing at all. Or nothing at all. I mean, what I hope they don't do is a Dallas thing where it's like, oh, right. <laughs> it was all a dream. Or <laughs> He'll do something better than that, though. No, he has to. He'll do something he better. He has than to that. do something better than that. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, 
Harry's. You know guys, in order to start the John Campia show, I had to leave my high paying corporate job in order to set myself up to be happier and enjoy more personal success. Because sometimes to get what you want, you have to challenge the status quo and blaze your own trail. And that's exactly what the folks at Harry's did. You see at Harry's, they saw customers getting ripped off by questionable products in the shaving industry and decided to do something better. Harry's decided to pave their own road by making beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price of the other big brands, except Exceptional products, honest prices. That's Harry's. I have fallen in love with Harry's from their foaming shaving gel that feels just luxurious on the skin to their incredible razor that feels just as good in the hand as it does going over your skin. They've got rich lathering skin softening body wash and scents like redwood, wildlands, and stone. You see, Harry's provides German engineered blades made in their own factory that stay sharp longer. You can get a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover for just three bucks at harrys.com slash campia. Don't settle for the status quo. Blaze your own trail with Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash campia. That's harrys.com slash campia for a $3 trial set. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Peacemaker is back in production. Season two is coming. I can't wait. Whatever you guys think about it, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.